Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be watching this review, and welcome to Roy's Reviews. Today it's not a just review, no, it's about a new piece of equipment that has hit the market and it's hit it with a storm. What am I talking about? I'm talking about the coily. So the coily is a coil trimming and measuring tool which is designed and manufactured in the United Kingdom. Big thumbs up to that. This was sent over to me by Simon from Coily Tool for the purpose of review. So a big thumbs up to him. So that's the details you get on the card. And you may have seen the unboxing video that I have done. If you haven't, go and have a peek after you've watched this. And on the back of the card then you've got, um, thank you very much for purchasing Coily. For information at http coilytool.co.uk and the Facebook details and the Twitter details and the email details are all there. There it is in all its glory with this little hanging, you can hang it on your arm so you, you're not going to drop it and you can still work with two hands and it's there at easy reach at all times. So let's pop down to the table and we'll have a wee look at it and a wee go at maybe putting and cutting some coils. See you down there. Welcome down to the table. As you can see on the table there is a selection of items needed to make your coils for your rebuildable, rebuildable RDA or RTA. Uh, we've got snips, coil master, screwdriver, coil, the wire, coils, ceramic snips, my Ken's eye and got the coily tool. So we'll take you a wee closer look around the coily tool. So as you can see across this top end there is a serrated edge rather like a mouth organ and you also have these little holes across there and then the bigger holes. We'll explain what they're for in a minute and if the camera would focus in which it probably won't do it's due to the colour but across here you have incremental sizes going from 3 mils up to 8 mils in 0.5 mil sizes and the back then you can see the stepped up ratio of it and I can't keep this in camera so it's really hard there it goes that's a better angle of it there as you can see it's like a wedge shape across there so that's down to that's up to your 8 mil right down to your 3 mil size there now I know one of the biggest things that biggest problems whenever I was I've been rebuilding is whenever you go to put the coils in so just take the Kenzie apart when you go to put the coils in here you get your first coil, you get the long legs, and your first coil goes in, and it goes in nice, nicely. And it's like quite easy to cut, because on the side of it, um, you can get right through. So once your coil is in, you can see the legs stick out profusely. That's easy to get on this side, because you would just take your snips and snip up close. The problem being, and the problem I found, is once you stick... The second coil in then it pokes through and you have to poke and everything else and bend the coil move the coil just to get it just to get it into place and that's where it becomes a nightmare to get it cut now if you were to cut it so that it just sat in there perfectly would be a dream wouldn't it and that's where the beauty of the coil comes in because what you do is you take a little straight edge and you measure that side of your post just there and the width of that is roughly what you're going to want the width of the coils to be. So you put the little measuring device in. You can see that's just a wee bit too big. And that's just a wee bit too big. But that one, no wiggle at all. And so that's the perfect size of it. But what I have found just with using this is you go up to the next size up just to give you the room to pull the coil away from the post itself. Oh, we need to see what size that is then. And I think that is four and a half mils it's, you can't see the size but I can there so four mils is quite tight it's a four and a half so I want to be cut, cutting my coils to four and a half mils the way you do that is you take one leg of your coil now the reason there's two the two holes a bigger and a wee one is to allow for the different size coils you will put in there so from your nice little dinky coils it'll probably fit in just across there to your big massive chunky coils and there's plenty of plenty of room in the in the width of the holes. So you pop your coil in 
just like that. So your legs stick through, and then you push, just put, gently push on the back of the coil like that, so that it sticks all the way through. Then take your snips, and as close as you can get to the the coil, cut your legs off, just like so. And there you have your coil with nice short legs on it. And you just do exactly the same process for the other one. So you get it into the four and a half slot again. I'm making this look more awkward than actually is, folks, because I'm just trying to keep it on camera. So once you're four and a half, push up and snip and snip. So there you have it, that's your two coils cut nice and easily and then you just need to take, put your Kenzai or my input in the Kenzai on top of the Ogvape 200 here just to keep it in place then put your put your coil onto your coil master or whatever which way you choose to um, put it on and then just put it into the holes as easily and as simply as that and screw it down tight like that and these are just seven seven wrap fuse clapped in coils that I have made here we'll straighten up in a moment take your other one and again the same process just slide it on and slide it into place no extra cutting whatsoever and the time saving alone is worth it i you know i'm not the best and i'm far from the best coil maker and builder rebuildable in the world or even even in the hometown uh, where i'm at and that's your coils installed so all you need to do then is to get them straightened up right over the air holes As such, just need to lift them up a wee bit. And there you have it. Now, one of my other favourite tanks I have on here, um, which is the Kylan. Now, as you may know, the Kylan is a postless deck, so there's absolutely nowhere for you to measure the coils up. So when people have been asking me, um, how do you how do you use a coily for whatever it's supposed to stick? What I've done is put a bit of wire down into it, into the post, the post hole, and then bend it. So you get a bend on there. Okay, as you can oh really hard to see. I got a bend on there. And what I do then is take my coily Put it into your hole, exactly what I think it may be, and then just wiggle it back and forth to see if you can feel it come through. Okay, so that's four and a half. You can just about feel it, and then into the five, and I can't feel it. So if I can feel it on the four and a half, and put it on the five, I know that then the coils I the coil size I want is five, and then you do exactly the same again as you were doing previously. Put it into the oh, into, that's the wrong one. Put it into the five. Push it through to make sure it sticks. Take your clips and clip and clip, and then take the second coil. Into the five again, wrong one, five, and clip and clip. So you have your two coils with the legs the same length. And again, it's just the process of taking your your coil master or whatever you may use and slipping and then over the coil holes over there.
that will go even and tighten them. There you have it folks, the coil is in and I'm just going to burn them in. Okay, coils are now nicely glowing. So there you have it, that's how you use the coil master for a post of steak and also for the post as well. So I'm just going to go and um, finish wicking off the, the kylin and get some nice juice into it and we'll get some of that juice into it. Be a cocktail strawberry crisp. Okay, so I'll see you up top. I'll go back up top again. Okay, so today's review has been all about this little device, the coily. What can I say? It is absolutely fantastic. There's, it's not often something comes along in the marketplace and you go, wow. And this thing is so affordable. $5.99. And I say Simon that has sent it over for review is making these things all himself at the moment on two 3D printers. And they are in such a big demand that as soon as they come up on the website, they're gone within minutes. Nature Vapes is also now starting to sell them and also looking to start getting them manufactured while they're looking into getting them injection molded as well so they'll be able to make them in bigger quantities. So I feel very privileged to have this device um, to, to review and I can't praise it enough. You know, before, as I say, I'm an amateur builder and I have struggled and I've moved coils, I've ended up cutting other coils because I'm trying to cut the legs behind and everything else. Unless you're using something like a dead rabbit that's got the undercut to, to cut things, this makes your life so much easier, no matter what deck you're trying to get onto. So whether it's a postless deck, whether it's a, a velocity style deck, two, two post up or whatever, you're getting your coil size the same time and time and time and time again. So when you wrap your coils, you'll be wrapping the same, you know what length they're going to be, you know roughly what they're going to do, oh my dad, and you're going to get both of them glowing red at the same time pretty quickly. And that to me has been a godsend. So Simon, 10 out of 10. i will give you more, but you can't put more out of 10, can you? Uh, absolutely love it the bits. And I will, it will be you know, my everyday use whenever I'm building, building coils. So thumbs up. So if you've liked the review, folks, give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't like the review, then you know, give it a thumbs down. Leave me a wee comment to say why you are um, giving it a bad comment or a bad thumbs down. Little subscribe. Oh, it's at this side. I do that every time. It's at this side. So the subscribe over here. Link to latest review up here somewhere. So click on it. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. There'll be more reviews coming up. Thank you.